What does every professional sport team have in common? Yes, they have a team coach. So you're working in a team and you don't have a coach? In today's video, I'm going to talk about why you need a coach, what a coach can provide for you, and what are the benefits of having a coach. So every professional sports team has a team coach. And why is that? Because they understand that on a professional level, you need someone who supports you in becoming the best version of yourself. And it needs someone like a coach to create a high performance team that can then win the Champions League, the World Cup or the Championship. So the team of Argentina or Manchester United or Liverpool, they all have amazing individual players, but they also have amazing coaches like Lione Scaloni, Pep Guardiola or Jurgen Klopp. And this is for a really good reason. Why don't we focus on individual level only? In the book from Jeff Sutherland, The Art of Doing Twice the Work in Half the Time, he's mentioning about that, yes, teams are what gets work done in today's work environment. But often we are focusing too much on individual level thinking, ah, that's where we can improve people because we always want to have the best people on our team. And that's great. But they figured out in a, in a study that on individual level between the worst and top performers, when they are in, on one level, is one to 10. And they also figured out that on team level, the difference between the worst and the best teams are from one to 2000. So this is where we should focus much more on in the future, not the individual performance, but the team performance. And that's why I urge you to have a team coach as well in your team to have high performance teams and they will much quicker make it possible to achieve your team and organizational goals. Hi. And welcome back to the channel. If you don't know me yet, my name is Sven and I'm an agile coach based in Austria. And on this channel, we're exploring how to make your team happier and more productive. So let's jump in what a coach can do to improve your team's performance. So when a coach comes into your team, he or she can first of all, bring in a completely different view. He can support in improving the alignment in the team or he can improve the connections in the team because we know that when there's high connection, then there's better team productivity. He can be leading by supporting every individual team member to become the best version of themselves. Like Sheryl Sandberg said, leadership is about making others better as a result of your presence and making sure that impact lasts in your absence. Team coaches also know a lot of patterns which helps teams to improve. Check out my other video where I'm talking about 23 ideas how to improve the happiness and productivity of your teams and where I'm talking about all those different patterns. Coaches also know about the different phases where the team goes through and in every phase have different coaching abilities. And a coach brings in the discipline and the continuously effort to improve, for example, with retrospectives. And check out my other video where I'm talking about the five steps to make an effective retrospective. What is now a good exit strategy for the coach? So first he arrives and then he teaches by sharing. He's modeling by interacting. He's coaching by observing and he's connecting by bonding. And then it's time to leave the team. So a coach has a really good focus on how to improve the team. This is an ability which often the team members don't have because they have a different focus. Their focus is on the work, how to bring the work out to the team and the organization. And with this different angle for a coach, this really helps to 
create a high performance team. And that's why what we are also seeing in, in sports. So most of the time, the most successful coaches are not players at the same time. They focus on one thing, and this is to make a high performance team out of the team available so they can then win the Champions League. What are now the benefits if you're having a coach? One thing is clearly to have an increased motivation because the focus is on autonomy, mastery and purpose. Check out my other video where I'm talking about the three motivators of a team. The coach often improves also the social connection in the team. And we know that social connection is connected to happiness and that's connected to higher productivity. A coach also brings in the discipline and the continuously effort to improve. Check out my other video where I'm talking about the 2% improvement making huge difference for every team. We also get an increased engagement where we, we see higher accountability of each team member. We see higher discipline. We see an environment where psychological safety and equal voice become possible. And those are regarding the Google Aristotle project, the two huge attributes which make a high performance team. Psychological safety, and equal voice. So it's good to have a coach who can provide you such an environment where the people can th then thrive. So what do you think? Is that something you want to try out as well? Or do you already have a team coach? And what are the results? Leave a comment below and let me know. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. And if you want to see more videos, check out here my latest videos. And I wish you an enjoyable and productive time. You are awesome.